today we're going to look at how to publish a Google Sheet to HTML. So you can share this link with anybody and they can take a look at what you want to share with them, whether it's something like a dashboard or display, or if you want to share some raw data. This is a quick and convenient way to share just the view without sharing access to the data. All right, so let's just jump right in. So to publish to web, go to File, Share, and Publish to Web. And the simplest option is simply to publish a link to the entire document as a web page. So if we click Publish, it'll ask a verification if we want to publish this selection. So we'll click OK. And then we'll Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And there is our link that we can share to our published Google Sheet. And so this does not allow you to edit anything like this. So this is a great one if you want to share just a display of your Google Sheet without giving people access to your Google Sheet or having them have the potential ability to edit your sheet. So let's look at a few couple things here. So one thing you might notice is these charts look a little different than our original. So in our original, we don't have borders. And in this one, there are borders. And so if you take a look across, there's a couple of slight differences. Uh, one I wanted to point out is if you change the font to something a little less common that may not be supported. So let's just do some text here. And so you can see here it shows as all uppercase. And now if we refresh this, this may take a time or two to refresh. Apparently that one did right away. So you can see this does not look the same. So it went to a standard font and it doesn't look exactly the same. So it's good to verify what it looks like in the published version before you roll this out. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this for now. And then let me run through some of the other options we have. So considering that we already have a published version, if we go back to File, Share, Publish to Web, if you want to modify what's already published under Publish Content and Settings, you want to select a particular tab, for example. And so this is the different charts that we're publishing. And so now, if we refresh, that data tab disappears. And so we can also do the reverse, and we can select just our data. Just like that. So it's a great way to be able to control what you want to display. without the users being able to view the things that you do not want them to see. So if you want them to see just the dashboard, not the data, you can set it like this, and all they can see is that dashboard. All right, so let's go ahead and run through these other things. So let's, first of all, look at automatically republish when changes are made. So if you uncheck this and you make more changes, it won't publish it to this. So it kind of locks it to a particular time. Other thing, we can click Stop Publishing, and then we'll click OK. And at this point, if we go back to here and refresh, this now no longer works. So if you unpublish it and people are depending upon this link to work, then that will result in an error for them. All right, so let's run through these other options here. So we just demoed a link with a tab or multiple tabs as a web page. So you can also embed. And if we embed the dashboard, for example, then it gives us an iframe code here that you could put inside your website or a Google site and be able to view it that way. You can also have the same controls here if you want the entire document. And you can see it there as well. So back under the link, we also have the option to do comma separated values. And so this is a great way to share the raw data perhaps with somebody just through a link without giving them access to your Google Sheet. You can also do tab separated, a PDF. So these are currently grayed out. Now if we go back and share the entire document, then you can see that those options are now available. 
So as you can see, there's a variety of options that you have when you publish to the web, whether you embed it in a website or Google site or do a link straight to a Google hosted spreadsheet or a number of different data options there as well. And then you have the options to modify your published content right here. So if you're all good and want to unpublish it to make sure no one can have a link to it, then you can just unpublish it like that and then you are good to go. All right, if this video was helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on both Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon.